Right, this is a bit different for me. Uh, what happened was, a company called Hi Let Go got in touch about would I like to have some free stuff and if I do some reviews they'll uh, pay the monies back to PayPal. So I thought well yeah I'll have a go at that because they were the company that replaced the AD9850 here um, which was the first one arrived with some kind of problem with it so I made a complaint to them and they kindly sent another one straight out with no issues. So that enabled this unit to work. Um, so when they got in touch again uh, they said well select some stuff from our Amazon store and if you do the reviews we shall pay you back. So this is the unboxing as it were of the first things to arrive. And let's see what's turned up. Okay. Let's see what this is. It might be the ESP32 with a screen on it. And that would be some fun. I didn't check the tracking, I sometimes don't because I like to get the surprise. <laughs> oh no, yes, it's a big screen. Okay. Oh, right on. Let me have a look at this one. The well, idea, I guess, is to have these things arrive, do videos when they turn up, unboxings and whatever, and uh, something of a interesting, hopefully to you guys, experiment with them. So what we've got here is a 3.2 inch TFT LCD shield, 480 by 320 for Arduinos, well Mega2560 it says there. And uh, there we are, so I'm going to put something together whereby I can test this out, but well, initially straight away, perfectly fine. Right, this is my Mega2560, I got it for the Pierre Cote Noir thing, do you remember that, uh, a few months ago? And this is my code running the way that his relays are switch on and off. So I haven't done anything more with that project as such, certainly not with the 2560. So um, looking at this, the connections on the bottom, that row of pins will be going in there, presumably as a straight shield to go on the top, like the regular Arduino Uno types. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these out and then uh, fit this on, load a sketch up, see if it works all right. Well, I've just realised where it's going to be and it's going to be very useful because what I've been working on is a GPS um, idea. Uh, there's one of these Neo 6Ms which are quite popular and that's been on the back. Now the first idea was too small, the second one on the Uno was running far too slowly, the redraw on the screen took about two seconds. So will this be quicker and can I put the GPS stuff on the back of this and this becomes the finished one. I don't know. That's what it's going to be. So first of all, does it even work? Well, I've downloaded a library from uh, Bodmer. It's called the TFTHX8357. And I'll leave a link to the GitHub link for that. There we are. Right, so if I reset, it's got a little reset button on the top, which is kind of cool. That was screen clearing with colours. Then we've got the text and these lines. And the rest of the effects you'll usually get in the Adafruit library at a really fast speed. So initially I'm, I'm just very impressed with um, the performance side. But of course it is running on the Mega2560. And the code from this library was just uploaded straight. It was just one of the examples. So very easy to use. Here is my code running, and first of all, thanks to Grandad is an old man and to Leo for pointing out something about the original code. So I've had to edit the video and put this in and re-upload. But uh, really it allows me to show also that uh, I've put the Neo 6M on the back with its antenna, and the whole thing is running quite nicely. So what I'm intending to do now is to fill up more of the real estate here, because the original screen was 320 by 240 and this is... 480 by 320 so there's a lot more room that I can use on the right and I've pushed these details down to the bottom. So it's actually working out very nicely indeed and thanks again gents for pointing something out. Okay, so what do we have here? Well it's High Let Go's 3.2 inch IPS TFT. It uses either an ILI9486 or HX8357C and it's for the Arduino Mega2560 you can tell because of the two rows there. Uh, $11.49 with free 
postage and packing from uh, Amazon with if you've got Prime, so it's decent enough price. 480 by 320, which is a really good resolution, uh, 16 bits. Runs on either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Uses about 100 milliamps. It has an SD card slot for SD card things, uh, pictures, data, etc. But it's not a touch screen, so that's one perhaps negative for some things, um, for some projects people might have. But let's take the protective layer thing off that nobody ever does on YouTube videos. And uh, what do you reckon then? Well, personally for me, even though it was complimentary and sent by HiLetGo, that is definitely a good screen. Okay, thanks for watching.